Here's a wonderful poem by Nisim Ezekiel. It's called Night of the Scorpion. It isn't very uh, lyrical or musical, but it's a wonderful poem. Uh, so here's, uh, here's what I've uh, memorized. I remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion. Ten hours of steady rain had driven him to crawl beneath a sack of rice. Parting with his poison, flash of diabolic tail in the dark room, he risked the rain again. The peasants came like swarms of flies and buzzed the name of God a thousand times to paralyze the evil one. With candles, with lanterns, throwing giant scorpion shadows on the muck-baked walls, they searched for him. He was not found. They clicked their tongues with every movement that the scorpion made. His poison moved in mother's blood, they said. May he sit still, they said. May the sins of your previous birth be burned away tonight, they said. May your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth, they said. May the sum of all evil balanced in this unreal world against the sum of all good become diminished by your pain, they said. May the poison purify your flesh of desire and your spirit of ambition, they said. And they sat around on the floor with my mother in the center, the peace of understanding on each face. More candles, more lanterns, more neighbors, more insects and the endless rain. My mother twisted through and through, groaning on a mat. My father, skeptic, rationalist, trying every curse and blessing, powder, mixture, herb and hybrid. He even poured a little paraffin upon the bitten toe and put a match to it. I watched the flame feeding on my mother. I watched the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation. After 20 hours, it lost its sting. My mother only said, Thank God the scorpion picked on me and spared my children.